Why do you people smell so bad? I'm so sick and tired of people like you coming to our country and not speaking a word of our language. Excuse me, but what you just said is incredibly offensive and I speak English very well. Oh, well, that's a first. Good for you. So well, where are you from? Iran, Iraq, or where the terrorists come from, huh? My apologies, ma'am. I had to look after the Arab over there. Can you believe these people? They come into our country, they steal our jobs, and they take our handouts. They really make me sick. Excuse me, ma'am. My tip? I thought it was only immigrants that didn't leave tips. Catherine, calm it down. Miss, can I have your name, please? Does it really matter? Can I ask you why you're being so incredibly rude? What did I do to you? Rude? <laughs> You've been sitting at this table all morning long, taking forever to make an order. Listen, we are already overpopulated as it is. If you don't like what's going on in our country, you folks can go right back where you came from. There, I said it. And I don't give a damn what people think. This is unacceptable. You're fired. You're hallucinating. Oh, what is it? The spices that go into your food that make you think crazy things, huh? Who the hell do you think you are? This is the new owner of the diner, Catherine. Mr. Saeed Abdullah. This guy. The immigrant. I was born in this country and I'm ashamed of people like you. My family owns 25 restaurants across the United States, and the one you're standing in and working in is our latest acquisition. Lady, you have insulted my family. Your services are no longer needed here. Get out! I'm, I'm so sorry you had to experience that. No need to apologize, Enrique. We can't control people's behavior. We'll get another waitress. This isn't the first time this happened to my family, and sadly, it won't be the last. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there. They're always quick to judge, but it's all human nature. He attacked me. Man, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Can you tell me what happened, sir? Tell you what, there's nothing to talk about. Nobody touched her. He sure did. He grabbed me by the arm, he threw me on the ground, and then he fired me. These people are all alike, I'm telling you. She's lying, I would never do that. Please calm down, sir. Catherine, why are you doing this? He attacked me! Arrest him! You don't even know me. Uh, officer, uh, officer, I saw what happened. Can we speak privately? I watched her verbally attack him. All he wanted to do was taste the food in his own restaurant and do a quality control check on his own staff. It pains me to say this, but that woman is a racist. I have seen her attack people from different backgrounds before, including me, and it's gotta stop. Did he put his hands on her? Not one finger. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to vacate the property. Earlier, the owner relieved you of your services and you're no longer needed here. But- Now! Take care of yourself, sir. Feel free to call us again if she comes back. I'm gonna start setting up some interviews with waiters and waitresses. I have someone. He's coming by later. Not like Catherine, right? 
Uh, not exactly. I just don't understand how someone with so much hate can choose to work in an environment and deal with people from all over the world. It doesn't make any sense. She's lashed out at me before. She's made comments about my race and it was extremely hurtful. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I believe people can change. They just need a lot of support and guidance. <sighs> you remind me of my father. We both believe that people can be redeemed. They don't. I've seen and lived too much to be that naive. I believe people like that can never heal. They have black hearts and they're just stuck with that the rest of their worthless lives. Worthless? Do you really believe people are born inherently bad or worthless? Maybe not born, but as they grow up uh, through different life situations and circumstances, they become evil. Exactly. Circumstances and life situations can affect a person's point of view of others. When I was younger, uh, I must have been five years old. Uh, my uncle made some bad choices, got with the wrong people. I'll spare you the details, but, but I remember him as a good man. He used to pick me up and hold me tight. Sanchez, he would throw me up so high, I thought I would touch the sky. And I found out that his life was taken from him by criminals. I was just consumed with hate. I can't stand people who harm others, especially if it's based on ignorance. It, it just really sets me off. Not everything is black and white, though. Would a heart filled with hate bring your uncle back? It wouldn't, but it just makes it easier to digest. Easier? I'm not sure about that. There are two kinds of hate. There's the kind of hate that's turned outwards and the kind that you just shared with me that's turned inwards. Both will eat you up from the inside. Now, maybe today is a good day for a little wellness house cleaning, though? Hello. See, this is Max. He's looking for a position as a waiter. Hi there. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You start tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for meeting with me, Max. Is he here? I think he's in the back. He's busy. Listen, I have to get something off my chest. I know we have not seen each other in the last few months. And I've missed you so much. Max, I know I've been a horrible mom. I miss you too, mom. But I don't miss your constant outbursts. I couldn't stay in that situation. It was becoming harmful for me and quite frankly for everyone else around you too. Well, that's why I contacted you. I'm doing therapy now, and I'm in a much, much better place. For the first time, I am making peace with how I behaved. That's big of you, Mom. I'm proud of you. I'm sorry, ma'am. It looks like your credit card's been declined. Mr. Abdullah? Hello, Catherine. My behavior was disgusting, and I'm so ashamed of the way I acted. I think back on all of those people I verbally abused just because they were different from me, and I feel horrible. The good news is I'm trying very hard to experience life through a clear lens and not a clouded one. I honestly don't know why the card was declined. I mean, I can wash dishes for a few hours to cover the bill. It's just been rough lately. It's fine. The meal's on me. Although I forgive you, I won't forget what you did. You taught me so much, Mr. Abdullah. I'm just really sorry that you had to experience that. What changed? I started listening what people who actually experienced firsthand were saying. People who looked different than I do. 
by the looks of it. Do you think you may need your old job back? You have no idea. Well, we do need a dishwasher. You'll be working under your new manager. Max, your son. I'll start from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way back up, Mr. Abdullah. You knew she was my mother. Sanchez told me a while back, but you're so good at what you do, it didn't matter. Congrats on your promotion, Max. Thank you, Saeed. Nah, don't thank me. Thank Enrique when you see him. He's the one who taught me a very valuable life lesson. You need to forgive people you don't understand. If not, try to understand people you want to forgive. I'm so scared. Woo. So what? If I don't wear a little paper mask, I'm going to catch a deadly virus that doesn't exist. Man, the sheep are scared. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? I'm not messing around. Get out. <laughs>